Uh, welcome friends to this press briefing. We are sorry for the delay, but as you all know that we have all the honorable ministers from the state and our central ministers. And so thank you again for waiting for us. So without taking much time, we we'll start with the statement from the honorable minister sir and then we'll take some questions. Over to you sir. सबसे पहले मैं आज यहाँ उपस्थित सभी पत्रकार बंधुगणों को विशेष रूप से धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ आप लोगों ने हमें समय दिया आज हमारी सागरमाला एपेक्स कमिटी की बैठक हुई और आपको मालूम है कि सागरमला जो प्रोग्राम है ये प्रोग्राम नेशनल प्रोग्राम जिसकी मूल लक्ष्य कोस्टल एरिया डेवलपमेंट और उसी लक्ष्य को मान्यता देते हुए सागरमला प्रोग्राम ने सात साल पूरा किया सात साल के अंदर जो सफलता हमने प्राप्त की है देश की जनता के सहयोग से और अलग अलग प्रदेश सरकारों के सहयोग से इसकी वजह से आज हमारी इंस्टॉल कैपेसिटी ऑफ इंडियन पोर्ट्स ड्यूरिंग 2014-15 इट वाज 1,531 मिलियन टन पार एना व्हिच इज नाउ इंक्रीज टू 2,554 मिलियन टन पार एना इन 2020-21 This is a massive growth. ये growth संभव हुआ है सागरमाला program के जरिए क्योंकि सागरमाला program के जरिए हम लोगों ने port modernization, new port development, port connectivity enhancement, port led industrialization, coastal community development और coastal shipping and इनलैंड वाटरवेज तो ये पास पिलर यानी पास बिंदु पर जो निष्ठा पूर्वक काम किया गया इसके वजह से आज आधुनिक व्यवस्था पोर्ट में खड़ा हुआ टेक्नोलॉजी इंकॉर्पोरेट किया गया जिसके वजह से हमारा सर्विस क्वालिटी बढ़ गया कैपेसिटी बढ़ गए इसके वजह से इतना मैसिव ग्रोथ संभव हुआ है इसके लिए मैं देश की जनता को विशेष रूप से धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं और यह संभव हुआ है परम आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी की जो विजनरी लीडरशिप है और प्रधानमंत्री जी ने ही सागरमाला प्रोग्राम को लॉन्च किया था उन्हीं के विजन को हम लोगों ने फॉलो अप करने के लिए आगे बढ़ाने के लिए सारा केंद्र सरकार राज्य सरकार के साथ हम लोगों ने कदम उठाए इसमें आप लोग भी आप लोगों का भी सहयोग है तो इसलिए मैं आप लोगों को भी धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं 96 hours in 2014-15 to 52 hours, 52.80 hours in 21-22. ये तो जनरल कार्गो का बाल का है. लेकिन if you talk in terms of the container, the container average turnaround time at major ports also reduced from 35.21 hours. In 2014-15, to 27.22 hours in 21-22. So that is how we could able to reduce the time. Abhi jahaz ko jada samay tak port mein apeksa karna nahi pade. Kam samay ki under unloading, loading ka vivastha ham logo ne khara ki hai. To ye bhi sagarmala program ka hi safala ta ka hi namuna hai. Cargo handling at major ports in 2021-22. Traffic handle during financial year 21-22 at major ports witnessed a rise of 6.94% over last year. That was a massive growth. 6.94%. Five major ports records their highest ever traffic during financial year 21-22. 
Kamaraja port attained an increase of 49.63% traffic over the previous year. The JNPT achieved the highest ever traffic during the same period with an impressive growth of 17.27% over the previous year. Dindal ports also clocked an impressive growth rate of 8.11% and also attained its highest ever traffic of 127.1 million tons. Mumbai port marked an increase in traffic of 11.46% over the previous year. Kosin port grew at 9.68% on the year to year basis and also attained the highest ever traffic. For the holistic development of coastal district, as you know, we have got more than 75 coastal districts in the country. While Sagarmala is port like and focuses on the logistic cost reduction and exim competitiveness, a plan has been developed to bridge the gap in infrastructure at the coastal areas and improve economic opportunity with aims of holistic development of coastal district. 567 projects with an estimated investment of rupees. 58,700 crores to be taken up in convergent mood. Yani ki pehle hamari Sagarmala mein kul mila ki 802 project lehe hai. Uska saath abhi ye specifically for the holistic development of coastal district. Coastal district mein alag alag hamari infrastructure facility alag alag passenger city और टूरिज्म के लिए क्रूज सी क्रूज के लिए अलग अलग और हमारे कम्युनिटी की डेवलपमेंट के सिलसिले में इस पे हम लोगों ने कुल मिला के 500 यानी कि 567 प्रोजेक्ट हम लोगों ने शामिल किया है और एनहांस सागरमाला प्रोग्राम न्यू लिस्ट ऑफ 168 प्रोजेक्ट हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड List consists of fresh proposal received from state, PPP project, road, rail connectivity. Upon inclusion of new 168 new project and project for holistic development of coastal district under the ambit of Sagarmala, total list of project to reach 1,537 with estimated investment of rupees 6.5 lakhs crore. यानी कि ये जो प्रोजेक्ट हम लोगों ने नहीं इसमें शामिल की है राज्य सरकार के साथ डिटेल चर्चा करके ही उनको भागीदारी बना के ही दे आर ऑल्सो मेजर स्टेक होल्डर उनको साथ में लेके ही हम लोगों ने कुल मिला के नई प्रोजेक्ट सागरमाला में शामिल की है अब सागरमाला का पहला था एट हंड्रेड एंड टू उनसे बढ़ के वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन अभी प्रोजेक्ट बन चुके हैं तो इसलिए हमारा लक्ष्य है By 2035, all the projects to be completed so that our entire coastal area can be developed to a great extent and also inland waterways. That means 7,500 kilometers of coastal area, which inland waterways about 14,500 kilometers. So if we could develop all this project within a time frame, definitely India will be the world leader in the maritime trade, no doubt about it. And in the process, several millions of youth will get job and also create a lot of income avenues for the different like you know, section of society so that like Indian economy can reach to the extent of five trillion dollar economy. So this is the target set by our beloved Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. So in this direction, we are creating all this kind of infrastructure for the overall growth of the country. Then we have implementation of floating jetties 
in February 2021, Ministry issued guidelines for floating jetties and platform for marinas, minor harbors, fishing harbors, fish landing centers, water drums, etc. 250 plus locations have been identified for the installation of floating jetties after extensive consultation with the state and Indian territories. As of April 2022, draft detailed project reports for 150 plus locations have been prepared and submitted to the respective state department. 50 locations identified in phase 1 for implementation. Out of 250, we have identified a 50 locations to be implemented in the phase 1. This across the 6 states, that is, and Indian territories. Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Urissa, and Puducherry. Then we have Roro and Ropex ferry services. Ministry is providing big push to Roro and passenger transportation through waterways as it is environment friendly solution to mobility and resulting in significant saving of cost and time. Ropex facilities are being developed by state or central authorities and vessel deployment and services are carried out majority by <coughs> private players. It is observed that maintenance cost of the dredging is high compared to the revenue coming to the authority. So details in this regard, we are also going for a details project report and in, in the near future, all the stakeholders taking them into boards will be prepared for the future course of action. The promotion of coastal shipping, as per the studies conducted under Sagarmala, there is an additional potential of coastal shipping up to 340 million ton by financial year 2025. That present it is 122, with an estimated annual cost saving of rupees. 9,600 crores. So this is the saving, very distinctively visible. Major commodities which can be transported through coastal shipping are coal, steel, cement, automobile, wood grains, fertilizer, oil, etc. And there is a very good news for all of us, for all of you also, that Mumbai to host India's first international cruise conference. It is mainly to promote cruise tourism, river cruise, sea cruise, because in the water sectors, we have seen a lot of potentialities, a lot of resources, how to explore it by putting our most effective efforts. So that is why this particular international cruise conference is organized. It will be a two days conference. Many more international players are going to come and take part in this particular conference and this will give boost to our domestic tourism because in river sector and in the coastal waterways in both the sector we have many areas unexplored so that is why to explore all these potentialities in the right perspective we have organized this particular conference only to generate people's confidence and also invite the stakeholder come forward to take part and put their effective investment and efforts so that like this particular uh, resource can be well explored for our overall growth. Thank you. It is always physically seen in the metric term. So have a to project like for for your information, you'll be happy that this particular road was closed for many decades. National Waterways 1, River Ganga, National Waterways 2, River Brahmaputra. Because there was a like you know, difficulties, particularly going through the Bangladesh Protocol Road. But Honorable Prime Minister's initiative has helped us and we got the access. Now, this particular route to reach National Waterways to River Brahmaputra. So, in the recent past, 
we could able to send the cargo from Patna to Pandu altogether 2350 kilometers. So this is for the first time happening after the six decade, gap of six decades. On the same line, we could able to transport through Bhaisal 2000 metric ton of Taka steel from Haldia port to Pandu port that is in Assam, Guwahati. So this is the beginning of, you know, this particular uh, water transport, which is now making easy for our user of the port and also exporter and also the traders to like transport from their cargo from one part of the country to the other part of the country. It is stopping now because through this uh, like agreement with the Bangladesh, now Sitagam and Mongla, both the ports, now it is very much usable now because earlier it was not possible. All uh, like you know, going through the river because uh, like, but in the near future, whatever like planning we have, that, that can be easily accessible for this particular port and this port can be usually utilized now because this understanding has grown up because from our side like we could already uh, complete our dredging part and uh, some portions of the road construction is yet to be uh, like uh, finished so uh, this is to be constructed soon and it will have the linkage with Mizura that if the proposal come from the state government then definitely Sagramala but it is always after going through it gives the approval that is the you know uh, working like on you know, a design or this working pattern we have agar mala desh ki vikas ke liye aur desh ko atmanirbhar banane ke silsile mein sagar mala ki taraf se hamari alag alag karyakram ko hum agar sahi जनता के सहयोग से उसको हम सही समय पे अगर लागू कर पाए ये हमारे अर्थव्यवस्था को मजबूत कर रहा है तो आप लोगों ने देखा ही है पिछले दिनों में आउट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड एंड टू प्रोजेक्ट वी कुड एबल टू कम्प्लीट टू हंड्रेड एंड टू टू हंड्रेड एंड टू प्रोजेक्ट सोफा सो दिस इज अक्सेस स्टोरी ऑफ सागर माला एंड इट इज एम्पावरिंग द नेशन इकोनॉमिकली सोशियली एंड ऑल्सो कल्चरली बिकॉज इट इज Connecting one part of the like you know this thing country to the other parts of the country. So this is how integration is now being strengthened. Or these ke alag alag sector se alag alag Pradesh se jab bhi hume fasla milte hain, koi bhi proposal milte hain, isko ham nishchit roop se positively unko sakar karne mein lage hue. We will react it. We will try to take it up on the main course.